For the hip abduction isometric, you need a ball or a pillow or anything that can be a different size. Um, take that and you're going to put that between your knee and the wall so that you're standing in a nice position here. From here, now feet shoulder width apart and stacked over top, you're going to slightly unlock the knees and now you're going to rotate the knees out. So if we look from the other side, we're going to see that the knees are going to rotate out and I'm bearing weight to the outside of my foot. I'm then going to put my hand on the wall. I'm going to take the one foot off the wall that's closest and I'm really going to push those two together. Now, I'm going to take my hand away and try to have as minimal shift so I don't want to shift to the side. So when I take my hand away off the wall, my tr upper body should not move and you should feel this all on this stance side in the back of the hip. If you feel it in your thigh or your front, make sure that you're in a neutral pelvic position and make sure that this other hip against the wall hasn't dropped. You might need to elevate that and you're going to push and hold for 10 seconds. A mirror is really helpful for you with this to make sure you're doing it correctly. So you'll hold that in that position. A progression of this is that once you're able to hold that for 10 seconds or longer, you can start to add some motion. And again, you want to make sure that you're keeping a little pressure of the ball against the wall. And as you go, you want to make sure that you're not leaning. You should feel this all on that stance side in your hip.